fanatic. Ah. Are you fanatical? Hello, everybody. Thank you to the Army Painter for sending me these fanatic paints. Oh, baby, oh, baby. A brand new line of paints to test and try out, and I'm really enjoying what's happening. These are some very versatile paints, and in this first video, I wanted to just demonstrate what I can do with them a little bit. And I've chosen a difficult color, red. So, we'll see what we can whip up. First of all, on my palette, I've given myself black, carnelian skin, dragon red, barren dune, and white. The Imperial Fists, as well as many Space Marines, have some specific shades, or at least I feel that way. So I'm going to be trying to conjure up a specific shade of red for my Captain's Cloak. To begin, I'll start with a mix of black, carnelian skin, and a slight dose of dragon red. I know, a mixture to begin with, but I'm kind of picky about miniature painting. This will form the stew that we can pull from and make many other delicious ingredients. Now I'm hungry. Anyways, I'll eat after this. Maybe a whole chicken. But to start lifting the folds in the cloak, I'll add a small amount of dragon red to my previous mix. Here I'm going very broad with my highlights. There's a lot the light is telling me. Broad surfaces are covered first, with a slight lift in the recesses. The way that light works on folded fabrics, it's going to gather on the peaks of course, but it also allows a little bit through into these crevices, so I'll hit that, but I won't bring it up quite as brightly as the rest. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but hey, I'm quite fanatical. So before I step on and go completely insane, I will take my existing mixture and pure dragon red. Wet blending those together, just paying attention to those lovely flowing volumes, smoothing it all out. And now for some pure dragon red. I'll go thin at first to find my place, and then I'll lay down some thicker slices to set those boundaries. This will quicken my painting. I know a certain area will be pure dragon red, and now I can blend up to those. So just kind of setting my segments. I've been talking about this a lot lately, looking at uh, the surface of the model like it's a topographical map, you know, moving section to section, shingles on a rooftop. Massaging those transitions, Again, with the previous mixtures and the current hotness, just to smooth it out. You know, just many thin, diluted layers. Think of those pigments just like grains of sand. You drop down one little pinch of sand and you'll be able to still see through it. But the more layers that you add, the more firm that pile of sand, which is now your blend, will build up. But just think about the grains and those atoms. Usually one diluted layer, it looks bad. It's the many thin accumulating layers that are semi-transparent, falling on top of each other, that are going to put things together smoothly for you. Next up, a finer touch will be added. I've mixed black into my original base coat for smaller, deeper shadows, and I've added Baron Dune to Dragon Red for similarly portioned highlights. All my portions are set now. All I need to do is further the heights and the depth of shadow. To wrap it up, a little bit of edge highlighting. I'll combine Baron Dune with Dragon Red once again and lift the edges as the cape billows outward. Then a small touch of white is added into that mixture to further the heights of brightness. Keep in mind that even an edge highlight can be a gradient. You can see the cape lifting and falling. I want my edge highlights to also conform to that same shadow. I think it would break the reality if I just uniformly add a white edge highlight along the base of the cloak. We're going for drama here. Now that I've finally attached the cape, I thought everything was good, of course, but you know how it is when you paint something in sub-assemblies. A little bit of adjustment had to be added. You know, I could, I could see the light falling on the model a little differently when the uh, cape wasn't just free-floating in my hands as I'm spinning in circles and painting in my room. And there you have it. The Captain's Fancy Cloak, painted in a very specific shade of red for a specific kind of Space Marine, the Imperial Fist. Also, painted entirely with Fanatic paints. This new range has a wide variety of colors to taste. I mean, try, and I look forward to trying them all out. It has a very dense amount of pigment and a very uh, a workable body. I, it seems magical to me, but I'm staring at 
a camera, which I do not understand how it works. So I guess everything is kind of magic to me. But I hope it was magic to you, and thank you for checking this video out. I appreciate your support, your subscriptions here, your support on Patreon. It means everything to me. So, thanks for watching. There will be more to come on Fanatic Paints in the future. Until we meet again, remain unchanged.